Our flight to Adelaide is at 4.30. The next landmass is Antarctica. We've headed pretty much straight to Central Market. Tom's doing an electric shock test. It's absolutely stunning, guys. Being in South Australia, I probably am going to have a glass of wine. It is an exciting day, guys. We are starting a brand new adventure. We leave Melbourne in an hour's time to fly to Adelaide, and I am so ready. So welcome to the Adelaide vlog. This is a city in Australia that I've never visited before. I've never really heard much about it. I've had very mixed reviews. Everybody I know that has been to Adelaide gives it a bit of a bad reputation, and I don't really know if it's gonna deserve that, to be honest. Like, I'm quite excited to see it. I'm quite excited to explore it. The main thing people always say is, oh, there's not really anything to do in Adelaide compared to Melbourne or to Sydney or to Brisbane but I come from a very small town in England where there quite literally is nothing to do so I feel like my standards of like is there stuff to do in the city maybe are a little bit different I don't know I feel as though maybe I quite like that vibe maybe I actually am quite excited to see what it's really like so this video and this vlog is basically gonna be spend five days in Adelaide with us starting with our journey there so we have a flight to catch because we're flying out of Melbourne Airport in about an hour about three hours we need to leave in an hour and I'm so excited about it let's go look at how ridiculous the hand luggage looks honestly oh I don't really think you can see it do you want to know why it's so wide and what I've just spent five minutes trying to cram into here five minutes might be an exaggeration my two bloody stuffed cuddly toys are you joking me am i five am i traveling around with a dingo and a koala because i have a child with me no they're mine and i just don't have any space for them oh i look so sorry for it still. we are at the airport just grabbed myself a little boost the thing with australian airports is a lot of the time or in melbourne definitely you don't have to take anything out of your bag at security which speeds the whole process up so much because that's what slows it down when you're in like the uk or other airports oh perfect got a little tripod but yeah basically we're boarding in half an hour so don't have super long we got here with like a good amount of time i was stressing in the taxi that we were going to be late our flight to adelaide is at 4 30 only an hour's flight and then we're actually getting picked up in adelaide by some family friends so i don't think i've already explained this but basically we're staying with my mum's friend who lives in adelaide who if you watch the vlog where my parents were over visiting um, we actually met up with her in Melbourne so I have already met her like last month she asked if Tom and I wanted to stay when we were in Adelaide which was so kind of her so so nice and we really really appreciate her having us because honestly lifesaver but also it's nice to like be going to a home comfort like this is the first time we've been to like a home environment where there's going to be like a dog and like you know it's not a hostel or a hotel so I'm excited for that I don't know how much I'll film she does have two children so I don't really know what I'll film probably not much maybe the dog though i'm so excited to see a dog but yeah anyway the flight is in half an hour and then she is very kindly picking us up from airport arrivals so yeah i'm really excited to see her again tom actually didn't meet her did you no not yet not yet that was because he was at work but anyway yeah got my beat all checked in just went to go to the gate now so cool how was your final shift at work boring <laughs> boring it was sad to say goodbye to everyone oh, yeah. it was sad to, to say goodbye to everyone but i'll hopefully see most of them at some point yeah so. we're definitely going to be back in melbourne and we said when we were saying goodbye we're like oh we're definitely going to come back in and visit even if it's just to have dinner there or something we'll miss most people <laughs> most people most people pretty much fast on the plane guys just arrived at Barbara's house. She lives just outside of the city of Adelaide and it is beautiful here. Like their house is so lovely. They've got a really cute dog. The whole family is just so lovely. I honestly feel so welcomed and, it, and really it's just so nice to be in like a home environment. Like we've had dinner cooked for us. We were greeted by a dog. Like these are the home comforts that you can't replicate. Even if you treat yourself to like a hotel stay or like a nice Airbnb where you just want to have those home comforts you can't replicate the feeling of like having a family dinner and like a dog being there and like it was so so nice so obviously i haven't really filmed very much and i probably won't film anything else this evening but tomorrow we are exploring the city just the two of us because although we are staying with them we're not we don't want to like gate cross their weekend plans so we're going to be spending sunday with them and the family and we're going to have saturday to ourselves to explore the city so so i will probably show you what we're up to in adelaide a little bit more tomorrow but right now I'm actually going to do a skincare routine and i'm going to show you my current favorite product 
So before we get any further into this video, I wanted to chat you guys through my current simple stripped back evening skincare routine because I have been trying out some new skincare products for the last couple of weeks now and they are really kindly the sponsor of this vlog and that is The Skin House and I'm genuinely so excited to share this recommendation with you because I have been using them for a couple of weeks now and my skin feels insane. So The Skin House are actually a Korean skincare brand and I was super super excited to give these a go. So I have here the supreme toner their supreme serum and also their supreme cream and the product that i'm pretty obsessed with at the moment is their serum which is this one here i have been using this every single night before bed my skincare routine guys is so stripped back and simple it pretty much always has been but especially since traveling i am like a three-step skincare kind of girl like i just want it to be as quick and simple and as small as possible and as you can see this is really ideal for traveling as well it's not bulky it's just easy to carry around and integrate into your routine Tea. and oh my god you can see my skin i have no makeup on guys so the main ingredients in this are red ginseng and also nine different types of mushroom extract and both of those have great benefits for like improving your skin elasticity they're super rich in vitamins and they're also anti-inflammatory and like help your face not be as puffy great scientific terms there but i don't know about you sometimes i wake up in fact most of the time when i wake up like my eyes are really puffy not now not with this. It has all of those amazing benefits, but it is also anti-wrinkle, which may sound silly, right? But two steps of my skincare routine that I will never miss out. One is SPF, and two is any kind of serum that is good for your like natural skin elasticity and wrinkles. And again, you might be thinking, well, you're 23, but I have spent a lot of time in the sun over the last year or two. Like I pretty much have followed the sun around the world. I love being in it, but also the sun ages your skin, right? That's not something that I really want at 23. The fact that this has so many incredible benefits and is anti-wrinkle, it's just a winning product really. Now, like I said, I have already taken my makeup off, so I'm just gonna apply this. And this is basically what I've been doing before bed. I've used so much of this product already. I might need to be a bit more sparing, but there we go. I'm just obsessed with this. Also, it smells absolutely insane. Like, I mean, I feel as though me telling you how nice it smells is not enough. You guys need to just try this for yourself. It's so lightweight. Like, another thing that I'm quite fussy on is products that sit really heavy on your skin because I always sort of feel as though are they actually working or are they just clogging your pores? Whereas this doesn't feel like that at all. It's so lightweight, it's so refreshing. I feel as though you can see just how dewy that has left my skin. And I want my skin to stay looking healthy and to stay looking fresh and baby faced. Like, you know, I just wanna look this fresh faced. Forever. So an additional benefit to this anti-wrinkle serum is that it develops the natural strength of your skin with its antioxidant ingredients. So it is literally working wonders. Now, if you are interested in shopping the Skin House products that I have chatted about today or their website generally, I'm gonna leave it linked down below. You can actually shop these products on Amazon or directly on their website, but super easy to get your hands on if you are interested. If you wanted somewhere to start, guys, it's this little guy. Anyway, thank you so much to The Skin House for sponsoring this video. Thank you for sending me these products. I am obsessed and my very small skincare routine is now basically just The Skin House skincare routine. But yeah, as I mentioned, that will be the top link in the description down below and we are gonna crack back on with the vlog, but this is pretty much Good morning from the suburbs of Adelaide. We're walking towards Glen. I'll be honest, I've forgotten the name of it, but we're heading towards the beach. I was just saying to Tom, like, this is my kind of dream location because they're only like 15 minutes outside of the city, but they're in this like beautiful green space. So anyway, we're gonna head down to the beach, which I think is also kind of known as like the bay. Have a little look at what's there. Apparently there's like a nice high street, some shops and stuff. And then we're gonna head into the city itself and start exploring Adelaide and see what is going on. We've been so looking because it is a beautiful day and guys dare I say it it's actually quite warm I have still got jeans on but I think that might have been a mistake like I'm quite hot I also feel like I definitely should have put sun cream on my arms also we've been so lucky to be able to stay with uh, Barbara and Robbie yeah which is really nice yeah they're they so are... lovely was Barbara in the vlog at all no she wasn't but I explained that she's yeah. basically my mum's friend from when my mum was like 21 and, and they're just they're so lovely they've been so accommodating we're sort of they've set up like a little area for us in the outhouse which yeah. is actually like barbara's office but they've turned it into like a bedroom for yeah. us which is just perfect made us uh, breakfast this morning yeah we woke up just... to fresh pancakes guys i was like oh my god and the kids are really nice they're just a nice little family look at how lovely this is i don't want to film somebody's house but they've obviously put this here for a reason it's a little library box just on the side of the street and you can come and swap books here this is so cute <laughs> don't know if you can see it they've got the twilight books in there 
we are on the jetty and this is stunning guys like there's beaches just as far as the eye can see this way and that way and Tom and I just came to the realization and this may sound stupid but in this direction the next landmass if you can call it that is Antarctica which is just wild because you wouldn't think it looking at these beaches it's crazy to think the next shore you would meet would be Antarctic you might not pick it up on the camera but that thing outline is Antarctica no it is not he's lying to you I, I find it weird because I already kind of knew that, but I find it like more, more weird bizarre. That, that way is Madagascar. Yeah, the next, the next, the next land in that direction, uh, like kind of over this way, is Madagascar. Like that, oh, yeah, yeah. Weird. Never crossed my mind. Well, I think more than anything, that gives you a sense of scale of just how isolated Australia is, like just how far from everything else we actually are. But we are as far as we can go this way in. Glen? Glen? I'm still not sure, to be honest, where we are. So we're gonna head back. This is basically like a beachy suburb. It is kind of obviously out of the city. Lots of stuff going on, obviously. It's a Saturday morning, so lots of families out and about, which is lovely. Hallelujah. have arrived in the city centre now. We've headed pretty much straight to Central Market just because this is where we got off the tram. It smells so good. The street food. We're going to want all of it, aren't we? It reminds me a little bit of an indoor eat street. Yeah, in Brisbane. Yeah, a little bit. for a little editing break. This looks insane, guys. I'm pretty sure this cafe is called Bang Bang Cafe, but I'm actually yeah. not too sure. It is? I can't really see it, but it says it on the wall there. This looks insane. Editing up the vlog that's going up tonight. Then we're gonna continue exploring. We are heading to Mod, which is basically the Museum of Discovery, but it is free to enter and it's just slightly out of the city. It's actually at the University of South Australia, which is where we are right now. And it's free to get in, so we thought we'll just have a little wander around, see what this museum is all about. There's an interactive globe that you can rotate, right? So it's kind of making me dizzy actually. But obviously we are down here. We can zoom in all the way to Adelaide. But we have just gone all the way back to England and zoomed in as close as you can. And obviously I'm not gonna do it quite as close, but you can zoom in as far as your actual driveway to your house. Like the satellite image is so clear. Let's go see the Humber Bridge. Zoom, zoom, keep on zooming. If any of you didn't know where Hull was on a map, by the way guys, this is where Hull is on a map. And then if you go even closer, <laughs> look at the colour change. <laughs> look at the murky waters of the Humber. Yeah, this is the Humber Bridge. So like, zoom back out and somewhere up around about here, Bit, bit further maybe. It's Beverly. Crazy. Crazy how far you can zoom in. Tom's doing an electric shock test to see what his pain threshold is. So he's got his hand on the sensor and like loads of different things are happening. Oh, you've got to concentrate whilst being electrocuted. Love it. <laughs> Does it hurt? the jam factory and if we'd timed this correctly guys we would have been able to see them actually making the glass and like blowing the glass in here but they're not doing it right now but if you are over here maybe check the times because we did not <laughs> Tom's getting some graphic design inspiration a little bit of leaflet design as our last little educational section of the day we are heading to the National Gallery of Adelaide and we've done some googling it looks pretty cool inside so it is about to close so we're just gonna pop in quickly, but yeah. This exhibition in the National Gallery is like, I don't know how well you can really pick up what it is. It's loads of intertwined red string guys. But it sort of looks like a combination between loads of spider web, like the scene in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets where they're in the Forbidden Forest, crossed with like arteries and veins and like the heart and the blood system. I'm not sure what it's meant to look like, but that's the kind of vibe I'm getting. I've got a web Tom's not allowed to carry his backpack on his back because they told him not to. In case they swing around, back and also yeah. that's the thing. <laughs> Looks like he's carrying a child. We 
have come just for a little drink this is a wine bar on peel street i don't know if you can see that but basically this is a lot of like little outdoor bars this is a really really good spot because we were struggling to find anywhere where you could like eat or drink or anything um that was like all together and outside basically we just wanted somewhere to sit down and have a drink but on the main high street there wasn't anywhere so i really recommend this street because there was loads of really cute options we picked the one at the end and it's just this little like wine bar being in south australia i probably am gonna have a glass of wine but that's that's okay our first evening out in adelaide or adelaide uh, we have come to a place called bambini it is this little italian restaurant and guys it is so cute look behind tom we've got the restaurant on this side the restaurant on this side and then behind us we've got a little fire because we are sitting outside Okay, 10 minutes. Oh, I felt so bad for them. They had to change the gas canister and I felt really bad. And then he was there for like yeah, a while. About 10 minutes trying to get it yeah. to ignite. Honestly, he finally did that. I was like, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm not cold. It's Classic fine. Molly. It's, not, it's, it's absolutely fine. Please don't stress about it. But yeah, he changed it anyway. But yeah, we're going to have this little Italian and then we're going to head back to where we're staying, I think. But honestly so far good vibes from adelaide it is a very quiet city compared to melbourne given that it's a saturday today as well it was very very quiet when we were out and about like walking around but really nice vibes like, i like the energy i like everything that's going on here oh, i love it when they bring you bread <laughs> how good does this look guys so excited to eat this it's basically just like a cheese pasta also got some potatoes got a lemon and lime bitter which i just discovered yesterday that i like so that's good so don't need more wine but this is a really great soft drink option i'm still waiting for his what did you order uh, i ordered a beef <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> thank you <laughs> beef ragu this is peel street guys we just had dinner on here and it is so cute i really recommend it look at this flavor of twirl guys i've literally never seen that mint flavored twirl cabris in australia just is not the same <laughs> Good morning, it is Sunday. I don't know how much I will vlog today, but we are about to head to do an escape room with Barbara and the family and the kids. And I'm so excited because Tom and I love an escape room. I'm not that good at them because my brain isn't always the most logical. Sometimes things go a little bit over my head, you know, when they're like asking for maths, asking for numbers, asking for codes and like quick yeah, calculations. Hey, I'm just not logically minded, I'm creatively minded, all right? You're not the sharpest tool in the box. Thank you. But anyway, we're going to do an escape room. Yeah. Hello. So Bella's filming at the moment. Do you want to tell them where we are? I can't remember it. We went to We actually made it out in, how long did it take us? 55 minutes? If you turn it around, you'll be able to see yourself. There you go. Smile. <laughs> These are the stars of the show. <laughs> Oh, I'll probably, yeah, you're gonna get used to this, buddy. Yeah, if you're gonna be a vlogger. Yeah. I'm not gonna be a vlogger, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna be a Minecraft. Let's get a decent shot of Isabella, who's a bit shy this morning. Hi. What did you think of the adventure room? Fun, trippy, hard. I felt a lot of keys and padlocks. Yes. I kept on trying to open like this big safe and we managed to escape. We managed to escape, yeah, with five minutes to spare. I helped escape. I solved the two by two Rubik's Cube to get a code. Don't drop it, otherwise Molly has to buy an eight camera. <laughs> what did you think of today? I really enjoyed it. And it was good to do an escape room with you two, because you know, well, you must have helped us with it. So I think you two did the most of it, to be honest. And Tom didn't dominate what we, we thought he would. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, I was told to calm down. So. <laughs> I yeah. thought it was pretty good actually. Yeah. I was impressed with escape because the last one that Tom and I did when we were in Brisbane, we didn't actually escape at all and they had to come and get us out and that was a bit embarrassing. Oh, oh, oh. So Bella can see yourself. I know. Okay. That's alright. That's alright. Thank, Thank you. That's alright. Back with another vlog. The My hair is looking like something at the moment. I've just curled it. I actually turned the camera on, guys, to tell you. Yeah, clearly I've just curled my hair. No, I haven't brushed any of it out yet, obviously. Tom goes, Oh, you've done your hair so nice. And I was like, I was being supported. <laughs> anyway, I'll update you in a sec. Okay, good morning. We are now staying in Adelaide's YHA hostel. We were only staying with Barbara and her family for the weekend. Obviously, the kids have school through the week and stuff. And also, <laughs> today we were supposed to be going to Kangaroo Island and we were going to be leaving at 5.30 a.m. And I thought we'll just check into a hostel in the city. It'll be a little bit easier. But somebody got the wrong date. 
somebody booked the wrong dates for the trip, but somebody's managed to sort it all out by ringing them up and rebooking it, basically. Silly sausage, so, somebody is a silly sausage, yeah. yes. We're not gonna go into it, guys, because I've sorted it now, but last night was a bit of a headache. I realized I'd booked everything on the wrong date, and I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? Usually, I'm pretty good at booking stuff. Like, I don't really, this doesn't really happen. This was entirely my own fault, though. I don't think you've ever done this before. I've never done this before. Oh, I was very tired. We booked this at like 1am. The lady on the phone was like, I can see you booked this really late at night. And I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah, I did. Basically, long story short, because I'm still working online and on social media, I haven't changed the time zones on my laptop because I find it easier to work in a UK time zone with the actual UK time. And I always do that wherever I am in the world. My laptop stays in London time because then it's easier for me. However, it's not easier when you're booking stuff after midnight. And I was like, oh, I'll book it for tomorrow tomorrow being today because we're in Australia basically I I made a mistake I'm not gonna go into it but we're meant to be on Kangaroo Island we are now not on Kangaroo Island but we are going tomorrow so it's really not that deep which means we've had a bit of a free day we basically just swapped the days around I'm gonna explore some more of Adelaide and I think we're gonna go to the beach because it's actually gonna be 23 degrees we've got a little picnic we're gonna go and explore some more of the city I think we're gonna head over to the oval which is like the sporting ground apparently it's really beautiful and then we're gonna head to the beach so it's not all bad it's fine really quickly guys this is a really Room tour. Don't know why there's bars at the window. We're staying in YHA Adelaide and it's not bad. It's fine. The actual hostel itself looks really quite old. The room is fine. Booked a double room because it was quite literally the exact same price to have a double room as it was to have two bunk bed, uh, like a shared bunk bed in one dorm. So that's worth noting. If you're traveling as a couple, sometimes it costs no more. We even got this little space to hang up some stuff. That's looking creased. Got a desk, Mac and Cleo, Tom and the luggage. We're going out. We are walking up to the Adelaide. Adelaide. The Adelaide Oval from the city. Basically to get here, you have to cross this bridge. I actually think that this looks really nice, guys. This is like a really nice little bit of architecture. The river is beautiful. Oh, there's a waterfall over there. That's so nice. And um, yeah, a lot of people have raved about the Oval just as a, like a sports ground, as a stadium. So I thought we'd come and check it out because apparently it's in some really nice gardens and I can confirm the gardens are looking pretty nice. So we're gonna head in that direction, have a little look, have a walk around, cross over the bridge, see what's going on. We have got a little picnic for the beach, guys. Oh, I never updated you. We're actually at Henley Beach, which is one of the beaches just slightly outside of the city. I think it's like west of Adelaide, maybe? I'm not too sure on the geography of the city very well, but it's absolutely stunning, guys. Like, the water here is so blue. We've been here for about two hours. Just listened to a podcast. It's nice to just have, like, a relax, because obviously we came straight from Melbourne. Tom was at work the whole time, and then we, we've been with Barbara all weekend, which has been so lovely. We've been go, 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 so... We weren't meant to be having a rest today, but we accidentally now are. I think it was needed. I think it was needed. But guys, look at this. Having a little picnic. It smells good. Yeah, so yesterday when we left, Barbara packed us up some little, like, some food off of the platter that we'd had. So we've got carrot sticks and cheese and chive dip, olives, brie, and then in here we've just got, like, nibbles, more what brie. They're really nice. They're just like cheese, like crisps kind of. Yeah. Just gonna have some of this while we sit on the beach, which is a nice little lunch. And very, very kind of her. Oh, we also have crackers. Totally forgot about these. Gonna have these with the brie. You can't really see us because the sun is directly behind us. There we go, that's a bit better. We have decided to walk, guys, from Henley Beach all the way to Glenelg Beach, which is where we were on the first day. It's about four miles, so it's quite a walk, but it is like a beach route, so there is like a public footpath that goes the entire way. Um, and it's just such a nice day that we thought, you know what, we're gonna do that because then we can get the tram from Glenelg and that's a lot cheaper than getting an Uber. Plus, it's such a lovely walk. Like, the entire time we're just gonna have this view until four miles later we'll get there. And as you can see, quite a lot of people are on this walking track as well, so that's how we're spending the afternoon. This street is filled with the most insane houses. Admittedly, I've kind of picked a bad time to start filming. There's <laughs> literally loads of construction. Oh, no, so but there's just so many gorgeous houses. It's called the Esplanade. Esplanade? Esplanade? What did I say it was called? Esplanade. Turns out we can't pronounce that word. But basically, we're just like imagining us buying a house here. Because you could definitely live here. Like, this is a very livable environment. This whole street is beautiful. And then here, you've just got this 
gorgeous blue ocean literally on your door we have pretty much completed the walk guys and the sun is setting look at how beautiful this is you can't even see where we started it's so so far in that direction well it's four, we've just walked four miles we actually still have like another half a mile to go because we need to get around the back of this marina that we're on now but the marina is really nice it's very holiday-esque around here actually Like I'm in a tropical oasis. I'm actually going back at Adelaide Airport. This is going to be the end of the Adelaide vlog. I don't know how long it is, but basically I decided not to include Kangaroo Island in this vlog. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that we headed to KI yesterday for us, but I'm going to have included that in a separate video just because we filmed so much content and it was so much fun. So that is going to be the next vlog. So there technically will be one more video from Adelaide and then the West Coast road trip is going to start. I'm going to end this here. Again, huge, huge thank you to Barbara and her family who had us stay at her house for the majority of this video make sure you show the kids loads of love in the comments because they were so cute when they were vlogging but other than that i will see you in my next video which is going to be from kangaroo island where tom and i get back in the backpacker traveler spirit and went and explored australia's third largest island so you're not going to want to miss that that's going to be my next video but yeah i should see you very very soon i would say adelaide has been so so much fun it's definitely an underrated city in australia i would say south australia generally is an underrated state and i would also say if you're planning like a lap of Australia and you're going to travel for a while here don't miss it out because we've met a lot of people that have missed it on their journey or their travels or they came and didn't really rate it but I think you just have to do it right like I think that the beaches here are gorgeous probably better than the city I think Kangaroo Island is worth a visit probably worth a longer visit than what we paid it and yeah I just don't think you should miss it out basically so I'm gonna go and I shall see you in my next video bye guys